to your yoga practice. Um, this is, and I'm going to go ahead and mute everybody. And if you have any feedback or questions or concerns, you feel free to unmute yourself and let me know or write it down in the chat and I'll try to keep my eye on it. So let's start this afternoon in this cozy, relax and restore flow with a yoga block. We're going to start in a supported fish. If you don't have a yoga block, you could use a rolled up towel or a bolster or something like that, just to give you a little bit of lift right behind the shoulder blades. And so we're going to take the long edge. So this longest edge here, and we're just going to kind of butt it up against the base of the shoulder blades right about where your right about where your bra strap would be if you were wearing one. So we're draping across the block in this supported fish pose. Welcome everybody. We're on our backs in supported fish either supported by a block or a bolster or a rolled up towel or blanket. Just something to give you a little bit of a lift to lift the heart. You can rest your back of your head or your crown to the mat or to a thin pillow or maybe even another second block if that feels good. And just open up your arms to the sky, open up the palms to the sky. Have the soles of the feet as wide as the mat and just let the knees bend and fall in toward one another. Gently touching here. Opening up through the heart and if it feels good, maybe think about if I could be there to adjust you, if I could reach around and it was okay for me to touch you and I would reach around behind your back and just lift your heart up so that your crown of your head could rest a little bit more comfortably on the mat or to your support. And we're just gonna rest here and let the shoulder blades open. Let the throat be open. Let the collarbones gently slide away from one another. Supported by the mat here. Let's just notice the breath. Notice how, what its qualities are without any kind of judgment, accepting what it is. Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it full? Just notice how the air flows in and out of your nostrils. Maybe close your eyes here. And just take a nice deep inhale all the way down into the belly. And as you exhale, notice where you can soften a little bit more, where you can relax a little more, where you can let go. Let's just go ahead and find a nice ujjayi breath here. This is kind of a unique position to tap into that breath. It's kind of that oceanic sounding breath, victorious breath, maybe sounds a little Darth Vader like deep in the throat, this kind of
a real nice audible sound. And maybe technically you're inhaling down into your throat with your throat sort of open, but you might picture that your nostrils are right here at the tips of your collarbones at the base of your throat. So imagine that you're inhaling through the collarbones at the base of the throat and just inhale there and exhale, exhaling from the nose, technically, but imagining that you're exhaling through the collarbones. And then let's go ahead and take another nice big ujjayi inhale. And exhale completely drawing the belly button to the spine. And the next time you inhale, go ahead and roll to whatever side serves you and roll off of your support. Go ahead and remove it from beneath your back, but set it aside where you can still reach it in case you want to use it later. And go ahead with the knees as wide as the mat. Begin to windshield wiper them in one direction and then back up to center and windshield wiper over to the other side. Maybe taking your gaze in the opposite direction. So when the knees are right, the gaze is left. When the gaze is right, the knees are left. Just back and forth, nice and slow. Getting a nice little yogi massage across the small of the back, the upper buttocks area. And then let's inhale. And as you exhale, draw one knee and then the other in toward the chest and hug them around the shins or knees. Inhale and then exhale to maybe draw the nose up toward the knees and kind of round your back and give yourself a nice big hug here. And then let's inhale everything out long stretching the toes away from the fingertips through the side body, stretching out long all the way through the right side, stretching out long through the left side. And then let's go ahead and inhale back to our feet on the earth. Knees pointed up at the sky, legs are parallel here. Draw the heels up kind of close towards your, your buttocks. You might even be able to reach down and tap the back of the heels with the fingertips. Maybe not, depends on the length of your arms, but draw them towards your sit bones. Press down into the mat with the palms, with the fingers, with the triceps and really press actively in the shoulders, drawing them in toward one another and down towards the sit bones. Tuck that chin to keep the neck long and begin to just kind of tilt the pelvis back and forth, tilting the pubic bone toward you and then away, lengthening the tailbone down the mat just rocking the pelvic bowl like the bowl it is. Pressing the small of the back to the earth as you exhale. Inhaling as the small of the back starts to lift away from the mat. Just rocking back and forth and pressing into those shoulders. And the next time you Exhale, go ahead and press the small of the back to the earth, curl the tailbone up and lift the hips into a bridge pose. Pressing into those shoulders, pressing upward into the hip flexors, pressing into the soles of the feet. Take a full round of inhale and exhale here. 
And then the next time you exhale, roll the spine one vertebrae down at a time, lengthening back to the mat. Go ahead and stay here. Take a breath. Inhale, lifting the small of the back away from the mat. And exhale to tilt the pelvis up, lift the hip bones, press into those shoulders. And really focus on where it feels good here. Focus on opening up those hip flexors, Focus on stretching out that low back. Focus on the pressure in the shoulders, letting the mat give you a little trigger point massage there in the upper shoulders. Maybe draw your hands toward one another and clasp them underneath your hips. So you can really open up through the chest and draw the shoulders down the back, lifting up, continuing to breathe, opening up the hip flexors. Maybe if your hands are clasped, you might switch your clasp so that the awkward, unusual fingers are on top. And continue to breathe here. One more big inhale here. And then exhale to remove the arms back out to the sides. And lower slowly one bone at a time back to the mat. Inhale here. Lifting the small of the back from the earth. And exhale to draw one knee. And then the other into the chest. Maybe draw the nose back up towards the knees so that you can get yourself realigned here. Rotate the ankles in one direction and then the other. And then let's go ahead and inhale the soles of the feet back down to the earth. Knees pointed up to the sky. Let's draw that left knee in toward the chest. Give it a hug. And then open up the knee, open up the left hip, laying the outside of the left ankle on the top of the right thigh. And we're just going to maybe use the heel of the left hand to gently massage into that left thigh. Opening up the hip here. If you have any knee issues, you might want to have your left foot really nicely flexed with a nice strong flex, drawing that pinky toe up towards the knee actively. But if this isn't bothersome for your knee, your foot can just be relaxed here. And maybe you might want to go ahead and on an exhale, draw the right knee in towards the chest, lifting the foot from the mat and reaching around behind the right thigh to clasp and draw that thigh closer to you. You can also use a strap here if that feels better in your body. Just make sure that the shoulders are comfortably lying on the mat and the skull of your head is on the mat and your chin is tucked and your neck is long. And just draw those legs in towards the chest, maybe finding that ujjayi breath here. Maybe as you inhale, really press the legs away from you into your clasp hands. And as you exhale, draw the knees in closer, getting more of a stretch in the outside of that left hip here in this figure four stretch. Maybe rock a little bit from side to side. Just see if there are any places here in particular that really appreciate the extra pressure of the support of your mat here. 
And you can stay here. Maybe you might want to inhale the right leg up long and press the sole of the foot up towards the sky. Maybe even reach above the left leg to uh, hold on to the right calf here. Maybe even draw those right toes down towards your face. And maybe even massage the calf here a little bit. Maybe using the thumbs to apply a little bit of gentle pressure alongside the shin. Inhale, exhale, and then go ahead and place the palms of the hands down on the earth. Take another breath here, and as you inhale, gently lower the right leg down toward the ground, just as far as you can until the small of the back begins to lift. And then exhale and draw the right foot back up towards your face, which sounds a little funky now, but just kind of above your face towards that. It might be down away by the chest, but we'll inhale away, keeping the small of the back pressed to the mat and exhale to draw the leg back in closer. Inhale away. Exhale to draw the leg back in closer and then let's go ahead and unwind, hugging the knees into the chest and the nose to the knees. And then let's go ahead and switch legs, hugging the right leg into the chest and then swinging the right knee out, placing the ankle on the top of the left thigh. Pressing into that right thigh with the heel of the hand, giving yourself a little massage here in the legs. Showing your legs a little kindness here, a little relief. They do a lot of work for us all day long, so we should take good care of them. Inhale here, maybe stay here if that feels best in your body or go ahead and Thread that left thigh. Maybe your clasp hands are back behind the left thigh or maybe you're using a strap. See what feels best to you. And maybe switch your clasp here. So if you're right-handed like me, probably your right thumb was on top the first time. So switch it up so the left thumb is on top. Maybe inhale to press the legs away and exhale to draw the knees in. Maybe gently rock a little bit from side to side. Finding some gentle movement here. And if it feels good to extend through that left leg, go ahead and straighten the left leg without locking the knee here. And you can still have a gentle bend here if that feels good. And maybe reach up with the hands and give that calf muscle the same type of attention you gave the right one. Maybe there are different places that are calling out for your attention. And then let's go ahead and press the palms to the mat. Inhale, letting the left leg come down towards the earth only until the back starts to lift from the mat. And then exhale to draw the toes back in towards the forehead. Inhale away. Exhale to draw in closer. Inhale away. Exhale to draw in closer. And then let's go ahead and unwind everything. Give everything a nice big hug. And then either roll to one side or the other and come to child's pose or maybe rock up and down the mat here, up along the spine. And then go ahead and flip on over, coming into child's pose. 
take the knees as wide as the mat and have the big toes touching. And just draw those sit bones back towards the heel and let the heart melt towards the earth. Let the forehead rest to a block or the mat. Forearms can be soft here, resting on the mat. Maybe give a little wiggle so that the belly is comfortable between the thighs. And maybe find a couple of you Ujjayi breaths here. Inhaling through the base of the neck, imaginatively, figuratively. Although I don't have to say that to you, yogi, yogis. And then let's go ahead and inhale the arms out long and come on up to tabletop in the upper body, keeping the knees wide and the big toes touching. Let's plant the left hand underneath the face so that you're gazing down at your middle finger. And then let's take the fingertips of the right hand and just draw them up alongside the inside of the left arm and across the left shoulder and across the collarbones like you're pulling back the bow of a bow and arrow, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky, opening up through the heart, drawing the right shoulder away from you, keeping that chin tucked to keep the neck safe. Inhale here, wiggling the fingertips and exhale to dive back beneath that left arm with the right, coming down to the right shoulder, resting the right temple to the mat. The left arm can be out long here, getting a nice stretch in the whole side body, even as you're opening up through the shoulder. Maybe experiment a little bit with taking the heel of the left hand and pressing it right underneath the heel of the right hand, kind of pushing away from the right hand and drawing the left shoulder away from the earth. Breathing here. Finding a nice, even, balanced breath, maybe tapping into that ujjayi breath here. And let's just stay here for a few breaths, finding some softness. Three full breaths here. And every time you exhale, just let a little bit more softness come into the body. Maybe rest the left hand to the mat here. Maybe draw the back of the left hand to the small of the back. Just resting it here. And then the next time you inhale, let's go ahead and press back up to tabletop in the upper body. And then let's plant that right palm right underneath the gaze and draw the left fingertips up along the inside of the right arm, reaching up to the sky, drawing back that bow. Opening up through the shoulder keeping the neck long. Inhale and wiggle the fingers, hello, up to the sky. And exhale, threading the needle, drawing the left arm underneath the right. Maybe sending that right arm out long or resting it to the mat.
You might try experimenting a little with pressing the heel of the right hand at the base of the left and letting it press you away from the earth, drawing that right shoulder back. Letting it be soft and relaxing and relief, giving yourself some comfort here. Finding a couple more full breaths here, or perhaps with the back of the right hand resting on the small of the back. Finding the position that works best for your body. And the next time you inhale, let's draw back up to tabletop in the upper body and tabletop in the low body, paralleling the legs, maybe taking your gaze back over your right shoulder and drawing the right hip up towards the shoulder, finding a little opening in the left side body and then wiggling over, gazing back over the left shoulder at the left hip, maybe back and forth here from side to side, finding a little spinal flexion here. And then let's go ahead and inhale cow pose and let the Elbows bend towards the earth. Let the shoulders open up. Curl the toes under. Drop the belly. Draw the heart forward. And then exhale to draw the tops of the feet into the mat and press into the back, pressing the navel towards the spine and letting the crown of the head coming towards the earth. And just moving with your breath. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Noticing the connection as you inhale into cow from the pubic bone all the way up to the throat. Drawing a long line across the front body, even as the spine draws a long line across the back body. And then let's go ahead and inhale the right foot out long, bend the right knee and make some little circles here with the right knee opening up through the hip here. And then reverse the circles. The circles might be small or they might be really big, but try to keep the back nice and level here with the hips facing the earth. And then inhale the right leg out long again and exhale to cross it over the top of the left leg, curling the right toes under so that when you gaze back over the left shoulder, you can gaze towards the right foot, really opening up through the right side body, pressing into the fingers, opening up through the shoulders. Breathing here, keeping that chin tucked to keep the neck protected and long. The next time you inhale, let's come back to center and then bring the knee back in the earth and press back into your child's pose. One full breath here. And then inhale back to table. Stay for the exhale, realigning your foundation here, and then inhale the left leg out long. Bend the knee and make your circles here. And then reverse the circles to even them out. Inhale the left leg out long again, and then draw those toes over the right leg. Pressing back through the right or left heel here and gazing out over the right shoulder to find your left foot back there behind you. You might see it, might not. Just opening up through the left side body. 
Noticing what you feel in the neck here, in the shoulders. Noticing how that hip opens up. And then e inhale everything back to center. Exhale the knee to the mat and draw back into your child's pose. Let's go ahead and paint the mat with the palms. Lift the arms over so that the hands are resting right here next to the feet and you can come into this nice little ball giving the shoulders a rest. If it feels better to have the knees wide here, you can certainly do that. One more full breath here. And then let's inhale, draw up back up to tabletop and take those elbows right down to where the palms were. So we're lifting the tailbone on the knees, hips aligned over the knees. And we're pressing into the forearms, pressing into the elbows, which are right underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and draw the heart towards the earth and draw back with the shoulders, keeping that chin tucked to keep the neck long, this happy puppy pose. Anahata asana, I believe is the Sanskrit for that. Inhale here, and then let's exhale, coming all the way down to the mat into a nice soft sphinx pose here. Let's rock the hips a little bit from side to side, bring the tops of the feet to the earth, pressing into those palms and forearms and elbows, tucking that chin, drawing that heart forward drawing those shoulder blades down the back, always finding your mountain pose in every position. Inhale here and then let's exhale and let the chin come to the chest. And then inhale and gently roll the right ear towards the right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest, moving very slowly from side to side, moving with the breath, taking it really slow so that you can notice every place along the way that might have a little tightness or a little tension. And whenever it feels super good, to stretch at a spot, stay there. Stay there and breathe. Imagining you've got a balloon at any points of tension or tightness. And every time you inhale, you're filling up that balloon with fresh, clear oxygen. And every time you exhale, you're bringing relaxation and relief to all of those little places. Just take a moment here to move with your breath and let your body tell you what it needs. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lift the head back up to the top of the spine. Paint those arms down along beside you again letting the chin or the forehead rest to the mat. Inhale here, lift the head, lift the shoulders just a couple inches from the mat. And then exhale back to the earth. Inhale and lift the arms from the mat. Exhale back to the earth. Inhale, lifting the head, lifting the arms, if that feels good here. And exhale, back down to the mat. And then let's inhale, lifting the feet from the earth. And exhale, the legs back down to the floor. And then you decide if you want to inhale, head, arms, legs up towards the sky, 
or any combination thereof that feels good to you. We're just breathing here, maybe experimenting a little with lowering the legs and lowering the hands and just lifting the head. Maybe just lifting the arms and the legs and leaving the forehead to the earth. Or strengthening through the back and opening up through the spine. Back bends keep the spine nice and healthy and lubricated and keep the movement and the flow in the spine. Keep that chin tucked to keep the neck long. And then the next time you exhale, go ahead and bring one cheek or the other down to the earth, just letting the arms and legs soften, finding relaxation here. Take a full breath, just letting the heels fall out to the sides. Giving your back body a little break, a little mini Shavasana. And then let's go ahead and draw the forehead back to center. Let's bend the knees, draw the heels toward the sit bones lift the hands and lift the heads coming into bow pose here opening up through the heart maybe reaching back for one ankle and then the other and inhaling to lift the feet up towards the sky opening up through the heart drawing out all the tension in the shoulders and then exhale everything back down to the earth Turning to the opposite cheek this time and letting everything go. <sighs> Inhale here. Exhale to soften. And then let's go ahead and inhale back up to press yourself into tabletop. Cross your legs behind you and draw the sit bones back to the earth. Walk yourself up so that your soles of your feet are on the end of the earth and the knees are bent and pointed up towards the sky. Sitting up nice and tall, drawing the heart up, drawing the shoulders down, maybe taking the palms to the backs of the thighs. Tuck that chin here really lengthening and then let's roll back gently one vertebrae at a time as we exhale down to the earth draw one knee and then the other in towards the chest and then draw the soles of the feet together and take the knees out wide coming into supta baddha konasana butterfly pose here. I wanted to name this my YouTube channel Mariposa Yoga because Mariposa is Spanish for butterfly and I have a little Spanish heritage. Butterflies are amazing creatures. They are obviously caterpillars first, and then they get into this cocoon. And it's really a struggle in the cocoon. There's a lot going on to transform from a caterpillar into a butterfly. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It's messy. But then finally, the little butterfly breaks free from the cocoon, opening up its wings. Let's be butterflies. And then let's inhale and open up into happy baby here. Rocking a little from side to side. You could use your strap here across the balls of the feet to draw the knees down towards the earth, or you can 
clasp onto the outside edges of your feet or maybe take that yogi toe grab here using the index finger and middle finger to clasp around the big toes. Rocking gently from side to side, drawing that tailbone down to the earth. Let's inhale and press out through that right leg, pressing the right heel away and straightening the leg, coming over to the right. And then exhale to bend the right knee and just rock right back to center like magic. And then inhale that left foot out to the sky, out to the side, straightening up through the leg and then exhale back to center and maybe play around with that a little bit coming into archer's pose in the legs. See what feels good to you here. And then let's go ahead and draw the soles of the feet back together and let the outsides of the feet rest onto the mat, staying in your butterfly pose here. Opening up through the palms to the sky in this really vulnerable open pose. Fresh brand new wings ready to take flight. And doing it very bravely. And then go ahead and find your final Shavasana pose. It might be to stay here. It might be to stretch the legs out long, maybe press the heels to the earth and lift the hips so that you can snuggle the hips more comfortably down to the mat. Draw those shoulder blades in together to hug close to one another and down towards your back pockets opening up through the collarbones and the shoulders and really spreading yourself out wide like a like a star taking up tons of space finding expansion spreading your wings maybe as you're lying here on your mat supported by the earth Think about maybe imagining that it is a magic carpet. And like a butterfly, you're just gently floating along on the wind, riding the current. Floating through space and time. Feeling the wind ruffle your hair. And it's a nice warm wind too, not one of those cold crappy winds, but a really good wind ruffling your hair and flowing across your skin, underneath the sun, floating on your magic carpet. Letting go of any control, just being. Letting go of the breath, just letting the body take over, trusting the body to take over. Open through the heart. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale, just let go. Soften through the muscles of the face and the jaw. Throughout the heart and the shoulders and the back and the arms. The belly, and the hips, the legs and toes all very heavy and supported by the earth. We'll just stay here in stillness and quiet for another couple breaths.
And then let's find a little bit of movement here, wiggling through the toes and the fingers. Let's go ahead and rotate the wrists and ankles in one direction and then the other, and then draw the soles of the feet back to the mat. Windshield wiper your knees a little bit from side to side until you roll gently to one side or the other and press back up into your seat. Let's go ahead and send the legs out long flexing through the feet and lifting the toes up to the sky. Let's bring the fingertips alongside us on the mat as we draw the crown up high. Let's inhale and lift the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the right elbow, take the palm of the left hand to cup the right elbow and just take a nice little stretch here through the right shoulder, keeping the chin tucked, but the heart lifted. Inhale, the fingertips back up to the sky and bend the left elbow, letting the left palm come behind the neck, gently encouraging a little bit of a stretch in the left side body with the right palm. And then let's inhale the fingertips back up to the sky. Exhale the palms down to the heart. Lift the heart to the thumbs. Let the elbows be heavy and draw down towards the earth. Let's tilt the chin gently, getting a nice last big stretch in the back of the neck here. Thank you so much for joining me for practice tonight. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time with us. The very best that is within me honors the best that's within you. That same light. Namaste.